Yesterday we found the site of a great hornbill nest and I returned early this morning in the hope of seeing the male bird bringing food to the female. Uh, he, he perched just outside the narrow slit in the tree trunk and started to feed the female one fig at a time. It was an astonishing sight. Um, he would tilt his head downwards, as you can see, uh, pulling up a fruit, one fruit at a time, from his crop into his beak, skillfully catching it at the very end of his beak. I didn't ever see him drop one. And then, having secured the, the fruit there at the end of his beak, he would pass it uh, through the slit into the female and repeat the process over and over again. Great hornbills take over cavities in trees, they don't make them themselves, and build their nests in there, with the female sealed inside. This means that it is in entirely the male's duty to bring food to her, and also later to the chicks too. At first he will bring fruit, mainly small figs, from the banyan trees for the female, but as the chicks hatch and start to develop, he will also bring small animals uh, such as insects and even snakes. In the excitement of seeing this huge bird I neglected to count how many figs he passed into the female but I would say it was at least 30. They really are massive, these uh, hornbills, measuring about uh, 120 centimeters or so in length and are one of the unmistakable and delightful creatures of the forest.